Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Talk with Docs ChatGPT plugin that you can use to ask any questions about a Google Docs document, summarize those Google Docs documents or get any kind of input from a Google Docs document. Right before I would show you an actual example on how to use the Talk with Docs ChatGPT plugin, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on the Talk with Docs ChatGPT plugin that you can read to learn more about some of the use cases of this plugin. And I also share some of the best prompts you can use this plugin with. So make sure to check out this article if you're interested in more details. I will link it in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. All right, but now let's see how to use the Talk with Docs ChatGPT plugin. So before you would be able to use the plugin, you have to make sure that you have enabled the plugins feature in your ChatGPT account. And to be able to do that, you have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber at the time of recording this video. If you don't know how to enable plugins, the plugins feature, I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. But once plugins are enabled, you have to click on new chat and select GPT-4 from the model selector because by default GPT-3.5 is selected. And once GPT-4 is selected, you have to select plugins from this drop-down list. Then we have to install the Talk with Docs chat GPT plugin. As you can see, I have already done that. If you haven't, you have to scroll down to plugin store, click here, search for the Talk with Docs chat GPT plugin and install it. And last but not least, once the plugin is installed, you also have to enable the plugin. So you're going to be able to interact with the, the Talk with Docs chat GPT plugin. And you can enable any plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. All right, so we're going to use a really simple prompt. I have this Google Docs document, which I'm going to show you in a second. And I want to show you that the plugin is able to understand what is in the blog post and even extract information about from that Google Docs document. So my question is, what is point number eight in this blog post? So let's check out this blog post first. So this is the Google Docs document. As you can see, this is a blog post about 10 tips to succeed in affiliate marketing and generate passive income. And I share 10 tips on how to make money with affiliate marketing. So it's just a dummy blog post, nothing too complex, but as you can see, it indeed has 10 tips here. So choose the right niche, research affiliate programs, build a solid online presence. And number eight is build an email list. Create an email list to nurture relationships with your audience and promote affiliate products directly. Right, so to be able to interact with this Google Docs document and get information about this document, first you have to make sure that the Google Docs document is shared publicly. And if you click on share here, you're going to be able to see that anyone with this link can view this document. And this is necessary because if it is set to restricted and by default, every Google Docs document is set to restricted, ChatGPT with this plugin is not going to be able to access the document. So make sure to select anyone with this link can at least view the Google Docs document. They don't have to have edit permission. And then you can copy the link here by clicking copy link here. So now let's see if uh, the plugin is able to tell us that the point number eight or the tip number eight is build an email list. So all we have to do is click on send message here and the plugin will do its magic. All right, so as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of uh, fancy language function or anything else like that. ChatGPT is able to understand natural language and it knows that it has to use the talk with docs ChatGPT plugin if it wants to access and scrape Google Docs document, and this is what it has done. So as you can see in the request to the talk with Docs ChatGPT plugin, it has sent the URL of this Google Docs document. And then in the next request, it has scraped the complete text from the document. And based on that point number eight, it has given us a response. Point number eight in the document is about building an email list. Here's the full text. Eight, build an email list, create an email list to nurture relationships with your audience and promote affiliate products directly. And as we have seen, this is completely right, as you can read here. As you can also read, if you have more questions about the document or need information on other points, feel free to ask. You can delete the doc by visiting this link. And you can also provide feedback to the plugin developer. 
So all in all, this is how to use the Talk with Docs ChatGPT plugin to have a conversation with Google Docs document, ask questions about the data and information found in these Google Docs documents. If you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins that can be used not just for Google Docs, but for productivity, business, marketing, finance, cryptocurrency trading, scientific research, and more. I have a ton of ChatGPT plugin tutorials on my YouTube channel, and more are coming up, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.